Met Office proudly flies the flag for science in everything it does. It's at the very core of all its work in predicting weather and climate change. The Director of Science, Andy Brown, calls it science with a purpose. Ultimately, that's serving customers. In the Met Office we have some really world leading scientists and they in turn work very closely with lots of partners whether it's the Natural Environment Research Council or UK universities doing really fundamental work to understand how clouds work, how towns and cities affect the weather, the, eff the effect of ocean waves on, on the winds. So that fundamental work but then pulling that through into these prediction systems to get more accurate weather predictions whether it's globally for aviation or detailed forecasts for the UK or longer term climate predictions and then in turn those predictions aren't an end in themselves. You know, the real purpose of doing this is to get people using them and acting on them. Every day millions of files of data are processed by the Met Office's supercomputers information gathered from across the globe, which its scientists rely on. Routinely, to do the forecast every day, we're using huge amounts of data from satellites or from surface weather stations, as you, as you can see behind me, ships in the ocean, civil aviation, the planes are measuring data. So that's what we're using every day to make the forecasts. Separately, to, to do the research work, to really understand how to make the forecast better, we do specific experiments using, we have, uh, an aeroplane we operate jointly with the Natural Environment Research Council which we use to do fundamental studies into looking at how clouds work or the effect of aerosols or different surfaces or looking at calibrating the satellites. There's also ex experimental work where we might take lots of instrumentation and instrument a, a different part of the country to really understand how the weather is working in that part of the country. It's a great area to work in. There's, yeah. For the pure scientist in me, there's absolutely fundamental science questions, but at the same time, the, these are questions that society wants the answers to. We want better weather forecasts, we want better climate predictions, and so that taking that fundamental science, improving our basic knowledge of the atmosphere, but then turning that into something that's useful to people, I think, well, it's a great job. <laughs>